Hello everyone, back to tuning in to today's second video. We're going to have a look at the weather that's 10 to 14 days for today's second video. So daytime will take us to the 11th of September and we'll be able to set up your bat with the extended GFS and ECM ensembles. Maybe run two around a couple of weeks. And we'll have a look at CFSB2 at the end of the video for the next uh, four weeks. Gets us to the last stages of September. I'll get on with that for you in a moment. Just say about the first video today was our 6 7 UK weather forecast. And if that wasn't enough, uh, we've got Terry Scold in September and autumn forecast coming up for you uh, this evening about an hour's time actually on the Gareth Weathers uh, Facebook page so make sure you're following the Facebook page you'll be able to see uh, what uh, Terry is forecasting for autumn and September in about an hour or so's time. The calendar's on sale so of course we've done our uh, 12 uh, reveals so you know photos but we've got this year's uh, calendar front cover of it of course so uh, today the calendar goes on sale, has gone on sale so uh, we're charging £13 for the calendar, that's £10 for the calendar, £3 uh, postage and packaging, um, and I think that's a pretty decent price, uh, so we've had made a couple of sales already actually today, thank you so much to those of you who brought uh, the calendar on the first day, that's absolutely uh, awesome if you'd like to snap up uh, the Gareth Webbins calendar, only to come to our PayPal page, sign into PayPal account send £13 to Gareth Webbins and we'll get the calendar out to you um, this week, so thank you so much everybody for getting myself up to pay for the channel of a revenue stream, so uh, absolutely incredible and awesome, thank you so much everyone. Right, the latest web about from EarthNoldSchool.net shows that low pressure is in control and in the ascendancy today, sitting to the west of the UK and I'm bringing quite a strong uh, westerly flow from off the Atlantic, and there's further areas of low pressure uh, downstream too. So we can be expecting some more uh, wind and rain at times. Central temperature is uh, currently sitting at 17.7. That's nearly 2 degrees. No, central temperature, sorry, is confirmed for August to come in at 17.7. That's nearly 2 degrees above the 61 to 1990 average. June, of course, came in at 17 degrees. And uh, July came in at 18.4. Been a very warm to hot summer. And uh, that just keeps the CT under 1976. I think it needed 17.8 uh, for the C for, for um, this summer to equal 1976. So I uh, would just come in under that for the CT, not for the UK wide temperature, but certainly been a very, very, very warm to hot summer. And uh, and now, of course, we're pushing on into autumn mode. So, talking about these of GFS upper air temperature precipitation ensembles, the next couple of weeks, looking at London today, the red line is a 30 year upper air temperature average for London, starting up around to slightly below average of the upper air temperature at the moment. They're going to be lifting up though as we move into the weekend, going to, become, going to become a very warm to hot over the weekend, and then uh, lasting on into uh, next week with above average temperatures as well. Precipitation wise, so uh, plenty of uh, rainfall to come. Then we go drier for a few days around the weekend and then it turns wetter again though through the uh, second week of September. Overall looking uh, quite unsettled there but pretty warm. Temperature anomalies for the uh, next five days uh, coming out close to average across uh, many parts of the country and uh, temp um, precipitation anomalies Anomalies to the April September wetter than average in the west, driver an average or near normal further east bow. Right, chart data. So this is latest UK met Euro run 12Z. Today is on quite late with video. So uh, low pressure bring westerly winds on Thursday, then high pressure building over to the east country to the weekend. Shift wind around to the south, becoming warm to very warm for low pressure back in late in the weekend to start up next week, bring more wet weather and turning the wind around to a westerly icon again, westerly winds. Through the uh, end of the week, remember wind shifting into the south at the weekend, becoming very warm over the weekend, but low pressure carries on coming as we move into the beginning of next week. Westerlies with outbreak spraying to the north and to the west as well. The KMA also uh, also shifted wind around to the south briefly at weekend, so becoming warmer, but looking rather wet, windy with that deep area of low pressure for the beginning of next week. And that low pressure then stays in control, really, up to about day 10, with further spells of rain coming in from off the Atlantic. 
The GFS uh, looks like this again, rather flat and westerly as we go in through Thursday. High pressure bridging to our east, low pressure out to the west. So warmer at the weekend, but with some rain. Well, might be a bit thundery, actually, uh, later in the weekend to start next week. Uh, low pressure may be seen over the top of the country as we go into the middle of uh, next week before high pressure comes back up from the southwest. Quite a bit of high pressure on this uh, GFS run, uh, actually, for the south anyway. So, rings about dry weather there, more unsettled though, uh, further north, but often reaching that high pressure through into the south. The GM, uh, GM <laughs> looks like this. And if you enjoyed me, by the way, please like, share, subscribe. Thanks so much, everyone, for doing that. So, uh, GM uh, looks like this. Again, high pressure to the east, low pressure to the west through uh, the weekend. Winds are in from a southerly direction, so warm uh, to very warm. And then uh, beyond that, well, uh, low pressure carries on coming, heading up towards day 10. We've got low pressure bringing outbreaks of rain in from off the Atlantic. So more unsettled with the GEM compared to the GFS. And then we've got the ECM uh, rounding it all off. Uh, that keeps the wind in from a westerly uh, direction as well on a at the end of the week, we shift the wind around to the south into the weekend. Uh, low pressure in very quickly, though, so it does briefly warm up over the weekend, but not for long. Low pressure will bring some really unsettled conditions there uh, up to and even beyond day 10 with outbreaks of rain. Another deep low autumnal low there mid-September. No, that's a proper wet and windy first after September from the uh, ECM. That's the midnight ECM, the 12Z won't be updating uh, till about an hour's time. This is a precipitation forecast based on that ECM run from Tibet.com. Plenty of uh, rain coming and going over the next few days. Briefly dry at the end of the week into the weekend and all of this wet weather piling up from the south in about a week's time and um, there's further rain to come then all the way up to day 10. Meet up the options on the table within the ECM um, ensembles today for day 10 from the Icelandic Met Office. It gets us to the 11th of September. 22 members of the ECM um, ensembles with low pressure right over the top of the country. 18 again, low pressure right over the top of the country and 11 low pressure coming in from off the Atlantic. All options looking unsettled. And then in two weeks' time, meet up the options that we've got get 16th of September. 14 members of the ECM um, ensembles again Low pressure is uh, through the country. 13 with high pressure to our south and east. That could be drier and warmer. We've got 10 with high pressure just to the west. Going to be rather westerly, but should be mostly dry. We've got 9 with high pressure over country. And then we've got 5 with high pressure up towards Scandinavia winds coming in for the east. So all options looking unsettled at day 10. But two weeks out, actually, we're probably shown there to high pressure. So around the middle of September, we might turn things uh, drier, maybe. So the unsettled weather might not go on too long. CFSB2 finally beats a 500 millibar high toll. Let's break it down into week periods. The first week period takes us from the 1st to the 7th of September. Next week does look unsettled. Low pressure, oops, low pressure right in over the country. Week 2 will be the 8th to the 14th of September. High pressure then building uh, over and to the east. Winds going into an easterly direction. So that's becoming uh, a lot warmer and drier. Week 3 <laughs> will be the 15th to 21st of September. Again, <coughs> so sorry, everyone, we'll be gabbing you with that cough. Uh, again, we've got high pressure close to the country, both west and also to the east. And then week 4 rounds it all off. It's the 22nd, 28th of September, with high pressure to the north and winds coming in from the east. So... I mean, there is a bit of a trend here, isn't there? It's a high pressure. Uh, <laughs> we released Gasworthy's uh, autumn forecast yesterday, and uh, we've gone for an unsettled autumn. I'm hoping that doesn't verify, but it, it would be typical, of course, for September to an anticyclonic. The question has always been how long will the current unsettled start to September last for? And uh, I think at the moment we say the jury is still out, more runs needed. 
We'll see, and time will tell. Right, we're done. If you've enjoyed the video, please like, share, subscribe, make sure you word uh, for dear Matt. Drop a comment, let us know what you think about this sad or other videos and content. Don't forget to tell your friends about Gaz Moves and get them to subscribe to you. And thank you so much, everyone, for dear Matt. Terry Skull is September and autumn forecast coming up in about an hour on the Gaz Moves Facebook page. Uh, make sure you check Matt out tomorrow, Gaz 6 m forecast, and a bit at 14 day as well. Um, so you enjoy the rest of your Monday evening, though. And for this one, that's all for now. And thanks for watching.